Oh, hey, didn't see there. I guess I was always busy on my phone swiping left and right on people's faces. Hopes of finding a suitable female partner to have sexual intercourse with tonight. You know, because I'm a sexually active millennial male, right? You know, and that's what millennial males do, I guess. You know, but to be honest, I'm not even a millennial per se. You know, and uh, that's something out of a Drake Dormus movie, right? Oh yeah. Anyway, I'm Dimitri and welcome to my review of Nunes, which is the 2017 film by the director Drake Dormus. Nunes focuses on a struggling relationship between Martin, played by Nichols Holt, and Gabby, played by Elia Costa, who've met online through a dating app called Winx, which is this film's version of Tinder, and are experiencing issues after hitting a flat line in their love life. To overcome those obstacles, they actually try something exciting and new, hence the title of the movie, the concept of an open relationship, which leads to something much more deep and insightful than just a simple variation of a sex position. This is actually the second time Drake Dormus and Nicholas Holt worked together. Two years ago, the world saw the release of Equals, which I personally found to be overly simplistic and fairly forgettable, but you know, that's just me. The film had an interesting premise and there were two undeniable achievements in it, the acting and the visual style. As much as it hurts to say that, newness pretty much follows the same pattern. At first glance, you might actually find a lot to like here. The fitting coldness of colors perfectly captures the apathetic state of the main duo, while the dialogue between them, on the contrary, is very lively and dynamic, something that's fairly rare for relationship-centered dramas these days. And the editing is superbly slick, and I truly mean it, the opening swipe montage is a thing of true editing beauty. It even adds some cynicism to the narrative, what not to like here. But the more you stare at the looking glass, the more noticeable the cracks become. The film, at its core, exists almost purely for the sake of its obvious message. Relationships are tough, you have to work for them, and the hedonistic lifestyle will get you nowhere in terms of real love. Dormus is a very capable filmmaker when it comes to showing raw, pure human emotions, and he demonstrated that well in Like Crazy, but this time around the final result comes off as a bit of a semi-pretentious cautionary tale with a preachy subtext. Pacing occasionally seems off and the film starts dragging a bit in the third act, so I personally had some trouble being fully invested in the emotional journey. However, despite all of the issues, I still lean towards the positive side. Halt and Costa are absolutely wonderful together on screen. They hold the film together and it doesn't fall apart solely because of them. Their chemistry is palpable and their struggles feel real and genuine. Drake Dormus might not be the most subtle author, but he and his longtime writing partner, Ben York Jones, certainly know how to inject new life into their films with the characters. And while the film itself isn't really that complex, it still manages to ask some profound questions about modern relationship culture and what impact online dating can have on it. So all in all, I'm going to give Nunes 3 out of 5 stars. I think it is a decent drama, which had a lot of potential, but unfortunately got dragged down by shortcomings. Yeah, that probably covers it all. Uh, first of all, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you dislike it, give it a dislike. And if you'd like to see more of the reviews from yours truly, then yeah, maybe consider subscribing. See you in the next one. Bye.